Hi guys, Tiffany here with a cosplay tutorial for making the Destiny's Embrace Keyblade from the game Kingdom Hearts. And if you'd like to use the same blueprint that I used for making this Keyblade, it is available on my website www.tiffanygordoncosplay.com or see the link below. I first started off for making this Keyblade by dealing with the bone structure. using. CPVC pipes for the handle part of the keyblade and PVC pipe for the thicker sections of the blade. Marking with a sharpie to indicate where I was going to cut them with a saw so that way they would be the length that I wanted. And for attaching them together, I first started off by cutting strips of 10 millimeter EVA foam that would be the same thickness of the inside diameter of the PVC pipe and glued it in place onto the CPVC pipe, or the handle part. And once the foam was attached, I then used two-part epoxy to attach the handle to the inside of the PVC pipe and then let dry overnight. For all of the flower components of the Keyblade, I ended up marking my blueprint with different sections from A to Z, so that way I knew which piece was which and traced each of the handles and the main key part of the keyblade onto 10 millimeter EVA foam with a sharpie. As well as for any small detail pieces, I used two millimeter EVA foam and then cut out all of these pieces using an X-Acto blade as well as a box cutter. And for the more thicker sections, I ended up cutting the piece out twice onto the 10 millimeter EVA foam. And once all of the pieces were cut out, I then attached the two halves together using contact cement glue, applying to both pieces, letting fully dry, and then attaching them together. And repeated the same process for all of the smaller detail pieces as well. Now for sanding. I first start off by using a sanding drum and my Dremel, go around the edges of each of the pieces and sand them flush and then sanded all of the edges round. Now to start assembling! To do this, I got a really rough 220 grit sandpaper and roughed up the entire surface of the PVC and CPVC pipes, so that way the glue will have something to grip onto. And starting off with the handle section, applied contact cement glue to the PVC pipe, as well as to the EVA foam part of the handle, and let dry fully before attaching the two parts together. And repeated the same process for the second half of the handle, leaving the vine part unattached for right now. And then followed up by attaching the key part of the keyblade. For the vine length part, I laid it onto the PVC pipe and traced where I wanted it to attach using a sharpie. And this was a really helpful guide for me knowing where to apply my contact cement glue and then to know where to attach the two pieces together as well. And here's what the keyblade looks like as of right now. For the flower parts of this keyblade, I traced each of the pieces onto 4mm EVA foam. And for the circle parts of the flowers, I ended up using a Cost Tools hole drilling kit to cut out each of the circle shapes. So that way I didn't have to do it by hand with a X-Acto blade. And went around each of the pieces very lightly around the edges with a sanding drum. Next, with contact cement glue again, I attached each of the circle parts to each of the center of the flowers. And for any of the detail pieces on um, the flowers with lines as well as the leaves, I used a pen to first indicate where the lines were gonna go, and then used an X-Acto knife to slightly pierce the EVA foam. This is a cool little trick that once you use a heat gun on top of these pieces, all of the lines will open up and you'll have a nice, crisp, clean line. Now that all of the flower and the leaf components are done, it's time to start attaching them to the keyblade. And with the help of sharpies indicating where I was going to glue my pieces and contact cement glue, I slowly started to attach all of the pieces to the keyblade until the final piece looked like this. And now to talk about the keychain. For the star part on the bottom with the leaves, I cut out of 10 millimeter EVA foam 
and sounded all of the edges so that way they were nice and round, glued the leaf parts to the star with contact cement glue, and drilled a very small hole at the very top of the star. This will be used for attaching the chain part to the star. And for the chain part, I cut out two small strips of four millimeter EVA foam and took one of the strips, put it through my small little foam cross part and attached it back onto itself with contact cement glue. And then slid a small piece of CPVC pipe and glued it in place. This will be used to hide all of your gluing parts. Next, I applied contact cement glue to two of the sides of the strips of foam, attached my second strip to the inside of the CPVC pipe, and slowly twisted the two segments together for the length of the blueprint for the chicane and then threaded the foam through the hole of the star and glued it in place. For attaching the keychain to the key blade, I ended up applying glue to the top part of the cross as well as to the inside of the CPVC pipe. And once the glue was dried, attached the two pieces together, finally finishing all of the foam work of the key blade. And to prep for painting, I did one final pass over with my heat gun to heat treat the entire keyblade. As well as applied a layer of contact cement glue to all of the PVC and CPVC pipes. This is a very important step because this is what is going to give Plasti Dip a grip to attach to any smooth surface. And once everything was fully dry, I then applied three heavy coats of Plasti Dip to the entire keyblade. Now for the fun part of the build, the painting. And all of the paint in this video is all provided by Createx Colors Wicked Color Airbrush Paint Line. So thank you and go get their paint, I highly recommend it. For this, I started at the very bottom of the keyblade on the keychain part. Starting with Wicked Red at the top part of the chain and then mixed in some of the yellow to go to a more orange fade at the bottom. And continued using the orange to the surface of the star. Applying it to each of the points of the star and then going back in with yellow into the center. This will give it a glowing like effect. For the leaf sections, I ended up mixing green, yellow, and white airbrush paint, which when all of the pieces were dry, ended up looking like this. And now that the keychain is done, I wrapped it up with some paper and some masking tape. This way it'll prevent any of the airbrush paint from having sprays on this section. And next, went in with a mixture of purple, yellow, and white, to make a tan-like color for all of the vine sections of the blade. And then added a little bit of yellow to the mix so that way it could have some pop in certain sections as highlights. For the ocean blue section of the blade, I started off with a mix of the blue and white paint, slowly mixing in some deep blue to give a nice natural gradient to the wave section. And finally, going in with the deep blue color to all of the shadow sections as well as the very end of the wave. And once all of that paint was done and dry, I wrapped it all up with paper and masking tape. Now for the flowers. For this, I started off with yellow for all of the center sections of the flowers. And once those were dry, masked them off with some more masking tape. And then went in with a mix of the red and the yellow paint to make orange for all of those sections of the flowers. And added a little bit of black to the mix afterwards to give some shadow to the dandelion pieces. And of course, masked those sections off too once they were dry. And then painted the purple flower with a mix of purple and white airbrush paint, followed by the handle using deep blue, 
And for the very last flower, I used a mix of red and white to make a pink color. And once it was dry, I masked the last flower off as well. For the main blade part of this key blade, I did a base coat of red to the entire surface. And when it was dry, started at the top of the key blade with a purple red mix, spraying it with a light dust to the end of the key head part, and then red airbrush paint from mid of the dark red to halfway down the blade, adding some more yellow to the batch to make orange, and doing the mid section of the key blade and for the part next to the handle, a lot more yellow. Once all of that was done and dry, and then went in with a yellow and white mixture to give the glowing-like shape. Now that all of the paint is done and dry, it's time to remove all of the layers and reveal our painted masterpiece. And the very last step for this keyblade is to seal it. And for this, I used Createx Colors UVLS Clear Satin, applying a even coat with a paintbrush to the entire surface. And voila, your Destiny's Embrace Keyblade is finished. What other keyblades should I make from Kingdom Hearts? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, and I will see you for our next cosplay tutorial. Much love, guys! Mwah!